everyone, Mango7 Roll here. How are we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Epic 7 ish. This is going to be an emulator guide how to fix all sorts of little things revolving around the emulator I use. I get asked a lot uh, specifically how I play on my PC, how I record, uh, how to improve uh, functionality, how to make the game run better infinite questions revolving the emulator i use so i might as well put out a like guide video on it so first off we are using blue stacks 4 blue stacks 4 is by far my favorite emulator it's not even close um there's a couple reasons for that and we'll just go through them really quickly is one um it's an american company so it's safer uh i believe anyway i feel safer using it um there are other players that do work really well, but I don't trust them as much. Uh, and it just, with your personal information, with maybe logging in to spend money, with maybe giving them your Google Play information, I just feel safer using BlueStacks 4. So that's like the primary reason. Um, the other reason is it just runs everything really well. It's streamlined and it is, uh, it, it feels, like a phone if that makes sense like it feels reliable uh so if you want to download bluestacks 4 or epic 7 whatever game you want to download you can use my link in the description below uh it is an affiliate link just getting that out of there this is not a sponsored video but it is affiliated link so i will get stuff back from it when you use my link um you can just click on download epic 7 on pc right there from this and you can get it going so now that we've got that out of the way Let's talk about BlueStacks itself. Uh, so first off, it's one of those emulators that was horrible before. It was absolutely trash. I laughed at anybody who used it, but with the new upgrade, it is just fantastic. I love it to death. It's my favorite thing to use for every game I play. And um, I don't even have any other emulators installed now, to be entirely honest. Uh, it's also really consistent. Most games run pretty great on it too. And I also visually like how it looks. Uh, they have a new home system, not a new hope system, but a um, different tab-like structure here like you would with a web browser. The other games don't really do that, the other emulators I mean. Uh, and with the new upgrade to uh, BlueStacks 4, the, the new upgrade, which is 4.140 for me right now, they added the sidebar to make it more similar to other emulators for those people who want that feel. So. I love it, and I think you should try it out if you're playing anything on PC. Uh, it saves your phone batteries, all sorts of stuff like that. So let's get into my settings and stuff to try to make it run as good as possible. And before we get into this, I just want to mention that um, it's tough. It's tough. It's really tough with emulators. No one PC is the same as another, so your settings are going to be different than my settings are going to be different than somebody else's settings. And it even comes down to like the same PC specs needing different settings just because of how weird emulators are. So first things first, uh, I wanna actually show you something they have and that's speed up tips. And some of these are actually pretty reliable. So first off, uh, antivirus is a huge problem for a lot of uh, applications making them run smooth. Um, I use just basic Windows Defender, anything related to Windows. I don't use any alternatives. I uh, am fine with that. It works great. And that's what I think you should do uh, if you want these to run better. Just try disabling it first to see if that does help at all. Uh, the next one is a really important one, but it's also very, very, very confusing to figure out how to do. You need to enable virtualization technology, and this is different for every single PC, basically. Uh, you have to do this in your BIOS through your motherboard options, and um, everybody's got a different motherboard for the most part. This is not something I can help you with. Uh, the way to figure this out is just go to Google, type in, how do I enable virtualization technology? Uh, and then your motherboard, um, even your motherboard manufacturer, even if you don't know the exact uh, which one it is, you'll be able to at least get an idea how to do it. That's a really, really way to improve. Um, there's some other things like power settings, but that doesn't really matter unless you're on a laptop of sorts. And also, of course, just buy a new PC. That's the easy one, right? Uh, just kidding there, but it is true. Uh, more RAM and faster CPU is huge for emulators. Uh, not really so much your video card, it's your RAM, your CPU. You can see in your program task manager how much they're actually draining from you. So that is really, really, really big. Um, 
Another thing too to mention is right click run as administrator is extremely helpful. It's something you should do for basically every uh, program for Windows 10. I find it makes basically everything run better. And if anything doesn't work, that's usually, usually a pretty solid fix for it. So keep that in mind as you go ahead with things. Um, I want to also show you my settings too, and again, this is going to be different for everybody. I also run it differently for each game. I have individual settings on my um, different applications. I have one for Epic 7, one for Alune, one for Secret right now, which is Last Claudia, uh, one for, again, Last Claudia, and another one for E7 there. So all of these have different settings and you can do individual settings within each little setting here. Uh, to open this window, you just need to type in your search menu, BlueStacks Multi-Instant Manager, and run that as admin and this will show up here. This is how I do all of my managing. I don't run an individual uh, BlueStacks. I run it all through Multitask Manager here. So we will go back to preference here, and this is what I do. Um, I try to keep mine visually appealing, but not too high because I do stream and record while I have this, which does take a lot of CPU and RAM. So I try to turn mine down a little bit. Uh, 240 DPI, 1920 by 1080. It looks much better if I hire the things, but it gets a little laggy uh, while I'm streaming. Uh, next up, my engine here, I'm using OpenGL. Uh, you can try both of these, see which one works for you. You can also try Advanced Graphics Engine Mode, which does work well for a lot of games, but some it doesn't. Uh, you can also try Dedicated Computer Graphics. Sometimes that's better, sometimes it's not. Uh, I know this is kind of a weird guide because literally you just play with things until it works well. And right now I'm on medium performance, two CPU cores, uh, 2048 memory, and you can change that to basically whatever you want. I had it as four CPU and four gigs before, and it was worse. So um, it's not always the more cores, the more memory you throw at it, the better. Sometimes you've got to kind of screw with it and just see what works, uh, especially if you have multiple instances up. If you have all your instances up taking four CPUs, sometimes it can get a little hectic. Um, I have 60 FPS because uh, I like it fluid. And you can disable or enable these too, but I don't touch them just because. And honestly, that's pretty much the only change you need to do for this. The only things that I have set up personally for this. And there's other things too, like some people will be watching Twitch at 1080p or whatever. They're watching it on and some people will have like YouTube videos open and um, 50,000 Chrome tabs and they'll have all the things open and they'll be like, why is my emulator lagging? So keep that in mind. Videos, Twitch, anything like that is extremely CPU slash RAM intensive and will often slow down your boost stacks for. So you can turn down the quality a little bit on those if you want it to run a little better um, while you're doing those things. So that's another thing. Like when I'm streaming and I have music playing through YouTube, I have it down to 144p just because uh, that is better and less lag for everything else. So, some common problems that come up too. Uh, this isn't just with BlueStacks, with every emulator, I believe. Um, one of the biggest ones I find is um, time and date settings. I see it pop up a lot where it says, your time and date settings aren't correct or something like that, blah, 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 blah. And the way to fix that is actually really easy. You can just right click on your uh, time in the bottom right corner uh, go to adjust date and time depending on which OS you're on this should pop up and what I do is I just toggle set time automatically off and then I toggle it on and then reload blue sacks and this should fix every error you come across it's really weird I don't know why it does it maybe your time's out by a couple seconds or something like that and it really doesn't like it um, that's what I do and another one that just came out recently this is actually a patch uh, problem that came out last patch where it fails to update resources and says not enough storage. Um, I don't know how to fix this. I honestly do not know how to fix this. It's something I've been trying to fix, but it just doesn't work right now and I can't get it to work right, which is why when you look at my things here, my usual BS4, which is my regular, um, regular Epic 7, I just don't use this now and I made an entirely new one and put BS4 E7 down there and I just run an entirely new instance because I could not fix that. If you guys can, let me know in the comments below, but for some reason it just wouldn't work for me uh, with this new patch coming up. 
There's other things you can do too if you're getting just generic problems. One is just try a new instance. Uh, that's often the best way to do it. Another is if you click new instance here, you can clone your instance and then um, clone the one you're doing. And oftentimes that just fixes it. So I do that too a lot of times. Uh, overall, shouldn't be too many problems you can't fix with just like deleting and reinstalling the instance. I always make backups too. If I don't entirely trust my uh, login credentials to make sure you do that. Otherwise, you'll lose your made Chloe account like I did before. Um, and overall... I think that's about all we need to talk about with Bluestacks 4. I think I covered the two most important problems people run into, my settings, and why I like it so much. Um, there's also a ton of things you can do here, like you can macro, uh, depending on which game you play. Some allow this, some don't. Epic 7 doesn't, so don't do it for that. Um, but other games I've played do allow you to run auto clickers, so uh, you can set it up with that pretty easily. You can also run multi instances at once and control them all at once. Again, a gray area. I don't recommend doing that, but many people do for re-rolling. Um, there's tons of different things you can do with emulators and it's just, uh, they make my life a lot easier. They really, really, really make my life incredibly, incredibly easier. So anyways, if you have any more questions, if there's anything I missed, please let me know in the description below. I would super appreciate it. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, everybody.